Good day, everybody. Uh, today I'm going to be teaching you how to play Rook with two players. Uh, now, there's a couple of variants as to how you can play Rook with two players. The variant I'm going to show you is the one that does not use a dummy hand. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you the cards. Um, in a standard uh, Rook deck, there are uh, cards that range from the numbers 1 through 14, and there are four different suits. Um, there's yellow, there's red, there's green, and then there is black. Now, there are four different types of cards that are called counters, and these cards are worth points. And these are the cards that you are going to be trying to win, and here they are. Uh, the 5 is worth 5 points, the 10 is worth 10 points, the 14 is worth 10 points, and the Rook is worth 20 points. Now, the Rook is the most powerful card in the game. You're guaranteed to win a trick with this, and these are the cards you can play at any time. So to begin with, uh, you're going to go ahead and uh, take out the twos and the threes according to the instructions. Now, I don't know why it's the twos and the threes and not the ones and the twos, but just to make it easier for me, I'm going to go ahead and take out the ones and the twos. So that's going to leave cards three through 14 along with the uh, rook. Now, rook is a trick-taking game, and the way a trick-taking game works is as follows. Uh, somebody is going to do what is called lead, and they are going to just simply play a card in the middle of the table. So let's just go ahead and say I play a red 13. My opponent is going to have to play a red card if he has it. If he does not have it, he will have the option of playing what is called the trump card, which is this. Um, if he plays a red card that is smaller than the 13, then he is not going to win. If it's larger than the 13 and it's red, he will win. But if he does not happen to have a red card and he has a trump color, then the trump color will, in this case, win. So he's going to look at his cards. He does not have a red or a trump color. So in this case, he will just throw out a whatever. And this means I will go ahead and win this trick. And I'm hoping to get uh, cards that have point values on them. So let's go ahead and say that I played this green six over here. And now my opponent is going to have to play a green card, which he does have. So now he's going to go ahead and play the green 13. And now he has won the trick since his number beat mine. So now he is going to go ahead and lead uh, the next one. So let's just go ahead and say he plays the yellow 13. I do not have a yellow card, but I do have a trump card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this trump color over this 13, and that means I'm going to win this trick. But this particular trick has a card that is worth 10 points, which is good. This is what I want. So I'll go ahead and take this into my hand and lead the next trick, and so on. Now in this version of Rook, you're going to deal out 11 cards to each player, and then you're going to deal 3 cards into what is called the nest. In the nest, and I'll talk about what the nest is here in just a little bit. So I'll go ahead and deal out the cards first. Okay, so I went ahead and dealt out the 11 cards, and this is the nest. Uh, now what is going to happen is we are going to be bidding, um, we're going to be placing bids, and whoever gets the highest bid is going to be able to take what is called the nest into their hand, and they're going to be able to swap out cards uh, between the nest and their hand. And then they're going to put three more cards down, uh, and they're going to pick those three cards up later after the game is over. Um, that's the first thing that the winner of the bid will be able to do. The second thing is he will be able to choose the trump color, which is good. So, now the bidding basically will go to 50. It starts at 50 points, and it goes up to 140 points, and you'll be bidding in increments of 5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and look at my cards right here. And right now I've got a couple of uh, good cards. I've got a 14 here and a 14 here. Um, 14s are the highest number, and so I have a very, very good chance of winning these points with these cards. Um, so let's just go ahead and say I'm going to start the bidding with 50. And so my opponent goes ahead and he looks, and he has got uh, a couple of cards himself. He's got uh, these 10s and a 14, um, and he feels a little bit confident. So let's just say he bids 55, and then it goes back to me. So let's just say over the course of bidding, I end up bidding 80, and my opponent goes ahead and passes, so I'll have won uh, the bidding. So now I'm going to have to make get win 80 points worth of cards um, in order to get those points. If I don't end up winning those 80 points of cards, I'm going to lose 80 points. Um, but I will at least be able to uh, get the points for any of these cards that I get in my hand anyway. So what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and pick this up, which is the nest, and I'm going to go ahead and place three cards back here that I'm eventually pick up again. And a good strategy is to usually just put cards in um, that have points on them because I'm going to get these points after the round is over. So I'll take those three fives. And another good strategy is to try to take out cards that you don't have that many of as far as suits go because um, you will be able to uh, trump uh, your opponent if they play like a card that you don't have anything of. So let's just say I take rid of this yellow and that'll be the three cards that I choose. So the second thing I'm going to be able to do now is I'm going to be able to choose the trump color. So let's just say I pick green because I have a ton of green cards. And so then we're going to go ahead and start playing. Now what's going to happen is this is going to be uh, placed up. 
And uh, whoever ends up winning the trick is going to have a choice as to whether to pick up this card or to pick up this card. So let's just go ahead and say I start and I say, okay, green is Trump. So I'll go ahead and play the, 10, the 14 over here, which is a darn good card. And my opponent doesn't have anything. My opponent has green, so he'll go ahead and play this. And I will go ahead and take this. Now I've won 10 points towards uh, my goal. I think I said 80. And so I'm going to go ahead and pick this card up, obviously, because it's the Rook. And my opponent will go ahead and pick up this card. And then this one will get flipped over for the next round. So now I'll go ahead and uh, start the next round. So let's say I start off playing with the yellow 14. And so my opponent goes ahead and looks, and he has... He ironically has no yellow card, so now he's going to be able to play a trump card. So he'll go ahead and play this green 7 over here. So he will go ahead and take this, and now he's got 10 points. And now he's going to have the option as to whether or not he wants to choose this card or this card. So let's just say he decides to pick this card, and I will put this card into my hand. And then we'll flip this over, and play will resume. So now he's going to go ahead and lead. And so let's see what he's going to lead with. Let's say he decides to lead with the black 14. That's a good card. And so now it's going to go to me. And I have a 10 black, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to play the rook card. I'm going to go ahead and just supersede that black card and take this. So this uh, automatically gives me uh, 30 points, which is really good. Uh, now, the only time I'm not going to, the only limitation with the rook card is if somebody plays a trump card first and I don't have that color, I'm going to have to play the rook card. Um, so anyway, but I'll still win anyway. So right now I've won 30 points. And then I'll have a choice as to whether I want to pick up this card or this card. I will pick up this card since that is the trump color and it's got points. And my opponent will pick this. Okay, so let's just say we've continued playing and we've gone to the end of the round. Now we are going to go ahead and count up our points. Um, so now I'm going to need to get 80 points. So let's see if I was able to get it. There's 10. There's 20. And this is the nest. I have to pick that up too. There's 30. There's 40. There's 50. There's 55. All right. There's 75. There's 85. So I've gone ahead and I've made my bid. And then I go ahead and pick up these three cards that I had set aside before. There's 10 more points. So I've made 95 points, um, which is good. So I'm going to go ahead and put that 95 on my score. So let's see what my opponent ended up getting as far as his counters. He got 10, 15, 25. He ended up scoring 25 points for this round. So he's going to go ahead and tally that up on his score. Uh, now, you will also score 20 points if you ended up winning the most tricks. Uh, so in this case, this player ended up winning the most tricks. So he's going to go ahead and add 10 points to his 25 points already. So now he'll have 35 points. Now, if I had not made my bid, say I bid 75 and I only made 65 points, what's going to happen is I'm going to have to deduct 75 points from my score. So in this case, it would be negative 75. But if I ended up scoring 65 points, I would add that back. So then my score for that round would be a negative 10. So what will happen is you'll switch dealers and then you'll continue to play rounds in the game. And the first player to score 500 points will be the winner. And that, folks, is how you play Rook with two players without the dummy.